It wasn't long ago that Mojang straight up dropped the ban hammer on NFTs with Minecraft. This is the blog post where they made the official announcement that integrations of NFTs with Minecraft are generally not something we will support or allow. And the reasoning behind this is that each of these uses of NFTs and other blockchain technologies creates digital ownership based on scarcity and exclusion, which does not align with Minecraft values of creative inclusion and playing together. NFTs are not inclusive of all our community and create a scenario of the haves and the haves nots. The speculative pricing and investment mentality around NFTs takes the focus away from playing the game and encourages profiteering, which we think is inconsistent with the long term join success of our players we are also concerned about some third-party nfts and how they may not be reliable and may end up costing players who buy them some third-party nft implementations are also entirely dependent on blockchain technology and may require an asset manager who might disappear without notice there have also been instances where nfts were sold at artificial or fraudulently inflated prices we recognize that creation inside our game has intrinsic value and we strive to provide a marketplace where those values can be recognized nailed it on the head basically every concern surrounding nft especially when it comes to their implementation in video games was addressed here and therefore they have decided that blockchain technologies are not permitted to be integrated inside our Minecraft client and server applications nor may they be utilized to create NFTs associated with any in-game content including worlds, skins, persona items or other mods. This is a post that went viral for example looking at Minecraft's tweet here where they link to that blog post already over 70,000 likes and people in the comments below celebrating the biggest video game in the world straight up rejecting nfts this is a huge deal and it will go a long way in further stigmatizing the current state of nfts and how gamers almost universally don't want that crap just normalized in video games microtransactions loot boxes and all kinds of monetization schemes have been normalized enough as it is and the negative impact that they've had in video games can be felt we don't need another layer to that we don't need nfts in gaming now of course those who put all of their eggs in the minecraft nfts basket were none too pleased by microsoft xbox and mojang's announcement here's something that was tweeted by reporter nick stat who linked to this Vice article and tweeted, this is something. Organizers of the crypto project NFT World are now scrambling to figure out if they can continue operating after Mojang, Microsoft, banned NFTs in Minecraft. The project sold over $75 million worth of NFTs related to the Minecraft IP, but now that aspect has been severely crippled by Microsoft and Mojang. The article that he links to is from Vice and it's titled, Minecraft-based NFT project in disarray after Minecraft banned and NFTs. Taking a look at the article, we'll find additional context, which reads, a popular NFT project that sits on top of Minecraft saw its tokens and NFTs plummet in value. NFT World sells NFTs tied to World Seeds, which can be used to create Minecraft worlds using the base game client. To date, the project has generated over $75 million in transaction volume at today's crypto prices. After Mojang Studios' announcement, the minimum price for an NFT World NFT cratered from three Ethereum Ethereum roughly $4,500 to 1.4 Ethereum roughly $2,100 at the time of writing. Its token was also down over 70%. Now it is emphasized that someone who has a world seed from NFT worlds will continue to be able to use it with Minecraft and that an NFT being associated with that world seed somewhere else on the web is somewhat beside the point. What will not be allowed is its API, which allows players to send and receive token payments inside Minecraft. So basically Minecraft related NFT trading from a third party source, that's not stuff that Microsoft, Xbox and Mojang are gonna keep track of, but stuff that happens happens within Minecraft directly, that's where NFTs are completely banned and completely rejected now. And that direct engagement between the game and NFTs was a big part of NFT worlds. And now that's going away. So they're forced to seek other avenues. As for what NFT worlds response has been, they are none too happy about this and aspects of their response is pretty ridiculous. So Nick Stat tweeted, the team behind NFT Worlds, the Minecraft NFT project, now in jeopardy over Mojang's blockchain ban. 
have harsh words for Microsoft. The company says it's now making its own game based on Minecraft's mechanics. Make no mistake, this is a Web 2 versus Web 3 battle. They act like there's all some kind of big war when it ultimately comes down to what service does Web 3 provide that is actually beneficial to customers rather than beneficial to those who just want to reap financial rewards. It's people calling out a questionable landscape for how questionable it is. I'd be open to the idea of Web3 if it seemed like it can provide some kind of benefit to society, if there was some kind of justification for its existence. But so far, all I'm getting out of Web3 is it's just another opportunity for corporate exploitation, nothing but a buzzword to generate hype. So it's not a battle between Web2 and Web3. It's a battle between something that's actually useful and productive and something that's pretending to be beneficial when it's more exploitative than anything. Oh, but this little quote right here is just scratching the surface. On this tweet is a link to a blog post by NFT Worlds, a statement where they make a stand and say it's not over, here are plans for the future, where they castigate Microsoft for being anti-creator and a bunch of ridiculous stuff. The future of NFT worlds on July 20th, 2022. Mojang decided to, without warning, outright ban all integrations of blockchain technology and NFTs within Minecraft. This decision completely disrupted emerging Web3 based game platforms built on top of it like NFT worlds. Good. NFT World is a cryptocurrency enabled games platform launched on October of 2021. It's enabled an ecosystem of the first interlinked but independently owned worlds operating under a single unifying game currency, dozens of newly developed gameplay modes of Minecraft by creators, and emerging free opportunities for players to earn exciting items, access to top quality content, and more just by enjoying and playing these games built on our platform all free to play so long as players own a copy of Minecraft. NFT Worlds gave the world a vision of what Web3 technologies could positively bring to existing and new games at scale. They do realize everything described here, the stuff that they have allegedly enabled through NFT Worlds, is possible without NFTs, and Minecraft is inherently about creation and sharing with the community and partaking in creative endeavors together and you don't need NFTs and the investment and profiteering aspect of that to make this a fun, creatively driven communal experience. They, they do realize that, right? No, of course not. The access of Web3 was what enabled all of that when it's just Minecraft as a video game that enabled all of that. And all NFTs and Web3 enable is taking an environment that is primarily driven by creativity and trying to commodify all of that through artificial scarcity. The statement continues, NFT Worlds consists of nearly 200 independent teams from projects building on our platform, a rapidly growing player count of almost 100,000 players who have registered and were actively playing across worlds, and dozens of creative Minecraft development teams being able to provide exceptional full-time wages to their teams for, in some cases, the first time in their development history, all because of the excitement and opportunities the NFT Worlds ecosystem provided. But these are wages earned off of the back of a shady monetization environment, and that monetization environment has the potential to negatively impact the Minecraft environment as a whole, which is why Microsoft and Mojang took action, because they're less concerned about the few vocal minorities trying to profiteer off of Minecraft and more concerned about the Minecraft ecosystem as a whole, which should primarily be creatively driven, not commodity driven. The statement continues, Microsoft, Mojang, and Minecraft have signaled they have no regard for creators, builders, and players if at any moment a new idea or vision conflicts with any internal politics or opinions of their power-holding minority, regardless of their public-facing ideals around creators and developers they say they uphold. They're acting as if Minecraft turning off NFTs affected creators across the board when it just affected NFT bros who were intending to profiteer off of the creator environment of Minecraft instead of just focusing on the communal creativity aspect, which is still maintained with the removal of NFTs because you don't need NFTs to be a creator, to be a builder, to be a player. They're acting as if this has destroyed the future potential of this game when that potential never needed NFTs to begin with. This game will be just fine without NFTs because NFTs are not required for any facet of what makes Minecraft Minecraft. 
If anything, NFTs are counterintuitive to what Minecraft represents. Its purpose is not for profiteering, and that's ultimately the only thing that's being lost through the ban of NFTs, and that's what these folks are ultimately pissed about. NFT Worlds is blaming Microsoft and Mojang for their own NFT woes, when all Microsoft and Mojang did was make decisions to proactively protect their game and its ecosystem, NFT Worlds never thought to blame themselves for making a poor business decision by putting all of their eggs into the Minecraft NFT basket, a venture that wasn't secure given the possibility of Microsoft stepping in and saying no to Minecraft NFTs, which is exactly what happened. That's on you, NFT Worlds, not on Microsoft and Mojang who own the IP and have the right to take steps to protect their own property. And in this case, it was done in a way that the majority of the gaming population agree with because of a revulsion against NFTs and what they represent. But they continue, this stings and feels like a violation of the true creative spirit Minecraft was supposed to embody and enable. Who are you kidding here? Minecraft is no longer a welcoming place for us creators involved with our platform. For many, this would be the end, but not for us. The statement then extrapolates on what they mean by it's not the end for us by which they mean we're gonna make our own Minecraft. We're creating a new game and platform based on many of the core mechanics of Minecraft, but with the modernization and active development Minecraft has been missing for years. This is not a rewrite of some open source Minecraft clone, which likely would violate the EULA or still risk legal action. This is entirely from the ground up. This transition will additionally come with a public facing brand identity change that is more player friendly. While the play style look and feel of this will be familiar to Minecraft players, the game, mechanics, graphics, performance optimizations, and overall improvements will usher in a more accessible, ownable, and enjoyable player experience or playing experience. Best of all, will be completely untethered from the policy enforcement Microsoft and Mojang have over Minecraft. We truly become our own open game and platform. The game will be 100% free of players, and there will never be any credit card pay barriers for content. If that doesn't highlight what NFTs are ultimately about, profiteering, I don't know what does. We're not putting any limitations on your ability to spend your money. That's highlighted as a marquee feature of this venture. NFT Worlds was built on the idea that all players should have access to earning, purchasing, and owning items and content through in-game play mechanics and currency rewards. They spout this crap and pretend as if the banning of NFTs was a big loss for creativity and for creators, when the only loss here was the microeconomy that they were hoping would thrive when it comes to Minecraft NFTs for NFT worlds to be able to take advantage of as a Minecraft NFT-centric company. Don't let them fool you into thinking that NFTs are all about the spirit of creation when that's clearly not the highest priority here. It is also emphasized here that they want to focus on backwards compatibility so that existing content can be transferred over to the new, from the ground up, Minecraft game that they're making. And then they conclude with, make no mistake, this is a Web 2 versus Web 3 battle. It is a battle between two different visions of the future of the web. One that prioritizes shareholder value and profit margins above all else. And one that prioritizes the spirit of innovation through independent creators. The NFT bros claim to be the ones who are fighting the good fight against greed when they're the ones who are engaging in a very corporate manner, in a very greed-driven, profit-driven manner. I mean, how telling is it that companies like EA, Ubisoft, Square Enix, and companies that are well known for their greed are the ones who are pushing for the normalization of NFTs in gaming. And what does it say about NFT bros when their ideals align with companies like EA? And yet NFT bros will claim that it's Minecraft that's prioritizing shareholder value and profit margins and not companies like EA, Ubisoft, Square Enix, Konami, and certainly not the NFT bros. No, no, no. They're all about looking out for those independent creators. Don't make me laugh. Their statement concludes with, it is both a philosophical conflict over what the internet represents and a technological struggle over who will have ownership of digital assets. Ownership of digital assets shouldn't be a thing, period, because that is just paving the road to artificial scarcity in an environment where scarcity literally doesn't exist. Digital files can be downloaded, copied, pasted, moved at infinitum incredibly easily with our current technology. And to restrict that and have the digital realm behave more like our physical realm 
just completely goes counter to the advantages that the digital realm offers. Once again, NFT Worlds has the audacity to say that it's Microsoft who's made it clear that they always act in the interest of their shareholders and balance sheet to the detriment of innovation player experience and creators. You gotta love how self-righteous NFT Worlds pretends to be when they're actively promoting a financially harmful, shady monetization environment. It's the complete opposite. Microsoft and Mojang have done the player experience and creators a favor by not letting the NFT environment run rampant within Minecraft. It is hilarious to see the very entity who are being a detriment to innovation, player experience, and creators pointing the finger at somebody else and blaming them for what they're in fact perpetuating. The statement concludes with, we believe an open, free, evolved version of what Minecraft brought to the world will be a better future for creators, developers, and ultimately gamers. Trust me when I tell you that's a vision that the vast majority do not share. What they really mean is we want a version of Minecraft where we can do whatever the hell we want with, including profiteering off of NFTs. They might as well say, how dare you, Microsoft and Mojang, to not allow us to take advantage of your game's popularity for us to profiteer off of by taking advantage of people through the Ponzi scheme that is NFTs, which on a creation standpoint enables nothing new that our current technology doesn't already enable. You NFT bros and Web3 stands do not speak for creators, developers, and gamers. Here's an especially revealing quote. We are fighting for a future with a player-owned and operated economy where all participants benefit from their contributions to the ecosystem. If you're a creator, builder, or player who wants a future where the ideas that Minecraft brought to the world are evolving, free, open, and accessible to all, join us. Join our fight. Beyond that blog post, they also put out this statement on July 20th, 2022 through the NFT World's Twitter page, where they said, we have just shared the following announcement on our Discord regarding the current Minecraft and NFT world situation. And it reads something like this. You can check it out for yourself if you want. But they basically talk about how they do plan to transition into creating their own Minecraft-like game. And they also talk about how they're trying to make contact with the Minecraft policy enforcement team to see if they can work something out. They're trying to make this into this big movement. But here's the problem with your movement, NFT world. You're trying to enact change that almost nobody wants. The public is not on your side. So I don't know what good it'll do to reach out to Minecraft's policy enforcement team when they're getting a whole lot of positive PR from all of this with the public being on their side and when they themselves seem to believe that this is the right course and the correct direction for Minecraft moving forward. As for the kinds of reactions we've been seeing to NFT World's rant and their call to action, we got Tom Warren here, senior editor at The Verge, just tweeting, the Minecraft NFT folks aren't happy with Microsoft and Mojang's decision to ban NFTs, so they're gonna build their own Minecraft. Good luck with that. Here's another user who responded to Nick Stats' tweets with uh, this image, we demand to be taken seriously. This is basically how NFT Worlds comes across right now. But suffice to say that aside from NFT bros and NFT Worlds niche community, very few are actually rallying for them or wishing their ventures well. Most are hoping that they'll just go away so that Minecraft can remain what it's always been about, communal creativity, not communal investment opportunities, not communal... Ponzi schemes and pyramid schemes, just a fun video game where people can come together and share their creativity without any real life financial elements getting in the way of that. And to that end, I salute Microsoft, Xbox, Mojang, and the Minecraft team for taking this hard stance against NFTs, a stance that was much needed, especially during a time when so many other gaming companies and publishers are trying to present NFTs as the future of gaming and trying to normalize them with all of the wrong intentions. The real innovation of NFTs is in the new monetization model it could present, not new creative ventures you could pursue with it. I've said this before and I'll say it again, you don't don't need NFTs to be a creator or to be creative. Hopefully this will go a long way in further stigmatizing NFTs and hopefully this will all make companies have to really think twice before deciding to pursue an NFT venture that is inevitably going to end in a whole lot of backlash and a whole lot of uh, reputational damage. Or at the very least, that's one man's take. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on NFT World's response to Minecraft's ban of NFTs. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time.
Young out.